Hey water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you that are cross-watching as well, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what is it that your special person here, your romantic interest, your crush here wants to say to you. So what is it that they want to share with you? What is it that they're holding back from you here? What is it that they would like to communicate with you? But for one reason or perhaps several, they're not coming forward and sharing this with you. This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will provide you with my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle and let's begin. Find it very interesting that the Ace of Pentacles he has come out in reverse just above the King of Swords. feeling a little crowded in this reading here guys in the energy so it may it's I don't think it's just you and this person I'm picking up um, a possible uh, third party or someone else's energy that somehow is crowding this reading could be that your person here your crush is in a relationship or in a connection with someone could be that they're attached could be that you're attached or there's an ex here that's lingering around someone's energy it's just feeling a little crowded in here now bottom of the deck you have the eight of swords your person is definitely holding back okay it feels like they're very it's an like it's a nervous anxious kind of energy it feels like there's so much that they want to say you know given the multitude of the swords here there are so many thoughts here that they have about you and there's so much that your person wants to say here but they're scared okay and it's a, it's this very fear it's this very nervous and anxious energy that keeps your person somewhat immobilized and prevents them from coming forward it could have something to do with the fact that this person is in a relationship with someone else okay could have something to do with the fact that this person is um, married engaged or you know in a partnership in a relationship in a connection with someone else or perhaps you are there is more than just this Yes, they could be shy, they could be nervous around you, they could be really anxious, they could fear rejection, they could fear you not reciprocating and you not, you know, responding to their advances here. Um, they could fear that, but it also feels like there's more at stake here. They fear possibly jeopardizing your, is it your friendship or the relationship you have with this person because that you, the two of you could work alongside together. They could be a client of yours. You could be a client of theirs. It just feels like there's more than just the one thing that your person is fearful of, okay? And it does feel like it's this fear and this anxiety that's preventing your person from moving forward. Your person, um, gosh, they're really stuck on you. It just feels like this is someone who can't stop thinking about you. This person can't get you out of their head. Their thoughts almost feel very intrusive. They feel obsessive. Um, they're very distracted here. It's also, I feel like a lot of it 
why it feels so obsessive or intrusive is that they can't get close to you. They want to, my goodness, do they want you. There's this intense chemistry that the two of you share. There's this attraction, there's this passion. Um, whenever the two of you see each other, whenever you're around each other, but there's this all there's this sense of them wanting to come towards you, but it's like they they have restricted access to you, you guys. It's like they want to come close, but they can't. Okay, maybe out of respect, out of fear, it just feels like uh, it's a little complicated here. Your person also doesn't feel like they could give you what it is that you want. Okay, because it's especially with the ace of pentacles in reverse they don't feel like they could meet your expectations here okay they don't feel like they could they don't feel like they okay your person is also coming across as a little bit of insecure it, they're a bit of an insecure energy. They don't feel like maybe they're good enough for you, okay? They may feel a little bit intimidated by you. They may have a low self-worth here, okay? They may feel like, okay, if they do um, come forward or if they do ask you out, if they do open up to you and tell you how they feel, they're scared that that won't be received well by you, that you might not reciprocate here. So your person, a lot of the time, your person finds themselves second-guessing, okay, or doubting whether they have what you need they don't feel like they're good enough for you this is why they don't think they can meet your needs and your expectations they think they're punching above their weight with you or um, they don't think that they don't think that they're good enough for you here okay they want to come forward here with an offer of some sort it feels like your person here wants to come forward they want to ask you out Okay, especially if you are in some sort of professional setting with this individual, um, whether it's work or, you know, um, whether like it's like you're a client. I, I'm, I don't know why I keep picking this energy up. It just feels like they want to come forward, but they can't. They're holding themselves back. It literally takes a lot for them to not act on their emotions, not act on their attraction. Okay, there's this intense connection that you share, moth to a flame type of a connection. This person wants to be around you. They want to be with you. This is someone very attracted to you, very drawn to you. If you notice the Knight of Wands, um, you know, there's such a fiery energy to this card and the way that he holds that wand, um, there's almost this phallic energy to it, right? This is someone who is they get very excited to see you. Their eyes light up here. This is someone who gets very turned on by you here. Okay, so someone who's very attracted to you. Um, but it just feels like they have restricted access to you. Okay, they do a lot of fantasizing, a lot of wishful thinking, a lot of daydreaming. And it does feel like this person wants to find a way to grow close to you, to become a lot more intimate with you. But there's just this, they hold themselves back. So not only do they hold themselves back from coming forward here and asking you out or telling you how they truly feel. I feel like your person has feelings for you. I think it's just, look, the attraction is there. You know it. They know it. You know, the cards seem to know it as well. The chemistry, the attraction, it's there. It's intense. It's off the charts. In fact, it's very intense. So much so that if you ever find yourself, you know, questioning or second guessing, why would you? Your intuition is you know, a very powerful thing, and you being the intuitive individual that you are, you know, you don't need to second guess or question that, so if you feel it, chances are that they feel it as well, however, it feels like there's a lot more depth to this, it feels like your person is someone who wants to get to know you, they feel very intrigued by you, they feel very curious here they want to build more of a connection with you it also feels like each and every time you see each other um over time it, it's like it may not have it could have been love at first sight for some of you don't get me wrong because i do feel like that you know this connection is all it was almost instant this attraction they feel a very special connection with you they feel a very special bond but each and every time that you have seen each other it feels like that seems to amplify that seems to intensify here You know what? They also are someone who I feel like, you know, they're not someone who wears their heart on their sleeve, okay? Maybe this is someone who doesn't want, they're scared, they hold back because they're scared of getting hurt. This is someone who wants you, but as I keep 
saying it. They have restricted access to you. Maybe you've rejected this person in the past, or maybe you know it's just they're so caught up about how you might respond to their advances here that they're not coming forward here. I don't feel like this person is someone who is able to, you know, who freely exposes and expresses their vulnerability. I feel like this is someone who holds back their feelings to A, because it's it's professional, okay, it's what's required of them. B, they're also being um, respectful of the current situation and their current partner or your partner if you're attached, depending on who's attached to you. But I do feel like there's someone. Now, if they are with someone else right now, if they're in a relationship with someone else, they think about you. In fact, I also feel like, you know, when they uh, get intimate here with their partner, it feels like this is someone who's imagining or wishing it was you instead. So this is someone who is very, they're very drawn to you guys. They're very drawn to your energy, but they just don't know how to get close. They also, it just feels like they're holding back so much so that I don't know how long they could do this because it feels like they're really using a lot of strength to hold back and tell you exactly how they feel. I feel like they may just blurt it out one day. They may just make a move or they may just blurt out one day that this is someone who either really, really, really likes you or is in love with you or sees themselves falling in love with you. This, this is someone who wants to be with you, who wants to be near you. This is someone who they see how the two of you would work out in the future. Uh, going back to what I was saying earlier, because I got sidetracked here, if this person is in a relationship or a connection with someone else, they're second guessing that too. They're wondering if they're doing the right thing by being with this person. Okay, because like they're picking up on the signals their mind is sending them and their body is sending them and they're responding to those signals because they when, when they're with them, they're thinking about you. That's intense. This is someone who I feel like they will come forward here. I feel like it's only a matter of time before they they say something or they may even do something here. Okay, it could be it could be a subtle touch that will linger um, a lot longer than you know it's intended. It could be that they just blurt out what it is that they're feeling, or they just blurt and ask like just blurt it out and will ask you out. It just feels like right now they're doing their best to hold themselves back and there's an element of fear, um, even insecurity, anxiety, like a very nervous kind of energy that is kind of dictating their energy and their actions here. But I mean, I don't know how long they can sort of hold themselves back here. I feel like it's only a matter of time before this person either say something or make some move towards you here. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing. If you're after a personal reading with me, please feel free to inquire. Bye for now.